Oh, okay. Huh. Very smooth. Yeah, I don't. I didn't. I did. We didn't get that in the chat over here. Hmm. What you just typed, I didn't. I'm not seeing anything. All right. So as we figure out the uh, chat mechanism, yep, we're, we're going, actually starting. Yeah, actually in game one, and here Peach gets an opening, yep. two fairs, but didn't really capitalize. No, got him off stage, but didn't push the advantage. Mm -hmm. Didn't keep Mark in the corner, which is really big. To be fair, it's kind of hard to turn around and actually take ledge in that situation. Very true. But I mean, it, you know, Blue Buster just completely turned it around now by getting a single opening mm -hmm. and just keeping him on the platforms above him. Yeah, doing almost three times as much damage. Yeah. <laughs> off of just pretty much one opening. Pretty much. But so. that doesn't matter as much as you might think. Because no, it really doesn't. Yeah, Peach takes a while to die. She can get Marth at most percents. Yeah, Marth, Marth is just a gimpable character. And Peach is as well, especially by Marth. Ooh. But it's still hard. So, But, I, I mean, at this point, we're, what we're looking at, yeah. Uh, you can't really just shield this Peach in the corner like that. Nice fair going out there and challenging Peach as she thinks she's safe. Yeah. Just as her float was running out, so her options became limited. Nice. So really, Blue Buster, he's just running around the stage and uh, throwing out moves to keep him away. Mm -hmm. And this is why Peach has such a hard time. Yeah, it's absolutely. a mobile threat that has more range than you and can combo you. She pretty much has to whiff punish. Yep. And obviously, you also need to be careful about overextensions as Marth, mm -hmm. which Blue Buster, a lot of the stuff that he's been hit by has been because he overextended against Lettech. Yeah, but I don't. we don't see the kind of punish game. No. You know, it's not equivalent on both sides. Yeah. Yeah, he's really just struggling to close out these stocks with edge guards. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know... It, it's it's not easy to find edge guard situations as Peach against Mark just because he goes so low and Peach can't really cover that very very easily. Yeah, there are ways to do it, like with drop turnip. But you have to make the most out of that situation when it when it arrives. Right. You can't just let him get back for free. Right. That was a really good jab. Ooh. Okay. I I appreciate that situation from Blentech. Yeah. And. Ooh, that was a. He's in a really bad position now. Yeah, okay. ops for the up air was very smart by uh, Blue Buster. Yeah, he just retreats to the corner so he can pull that turnip. And the, one of the other keys to this matchup is making sure you can reuse your turnips that you throw, because you generally aren't going to get very many opportunities to grab another one. Mm -hmm. So catching the one that you throw helps out a lot. Yeah, speeds up. Okay, that's going to be it for Lentex second stock. Yeah, there's not much you can do there. I, I mean. His, his option was either do that, try to land with a hit, or... Yeah, see, there you go. You can threaten that, but once you get that hit, you have to be ready to follow it up by either grabbing ledge or doing something along those lines. Ooh, I like that smash DI, I think, from Blue Buster. Yeah, he should still be able to take this stock. Yep. So we're back to even. Pretty much. I, I mean, it, it, in this matchup especially... Oh, yeah. It, Peach can rack up percent very quickly. Definitely. So can Marth. But uh, the percent doesn't matter as much. No, because Peach takes so long to KO by Marth. Unless you go for some interesting setups. You know, reads and whatnot. Yeah. But it's on those overextensions that Peach gets her openings. Yeah, she wants you to do that because then she can get dash attacks, float cancels, and then put you in the corner and pressure you. Yeah, we're seeing, we saw Blentag go for two float cancel bears into a dash attack, but both of them, both the dash attacks ended up whiffing. Yeah. The more it basically both characters want the other one to be in shield in this matchup because mm -hmm. both of them are not great out of shield. True. Uh, okay, yeah. that was uh, good stuff by Blue Buster taking the ledge. Yeah, he. Blintek didn't react to the ledge getting snagged from. Uh, his only option would have been to uh, up be early. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that kind of that kind of took the KO from him. Yeah, it did, and then a tipper off the <laughs> F throw. Yep. Still alive, but not in a good position. Yeah, he, he really needs to convert this stock. Uh, if he doesn't convert this... There you go, reverse. That was good. Yeah, Fair doesn't have as much knockback growth as uh, Nair does. Um, that should definitely be the KO. He didn't yeah. do his knockback. All right. Uh, I can't remember. What is that called when you do that? That quick oh, truck drop. Is it mm. tuddling? I'm not sure. Something along those lines. But he was trying to do that. It didn't look like he quite had the timing right. Mm. Just hoping for a uh, stitch face. <laughs> well, see if the odds are in your favor. And right now, Blue Buster 
is up quite a bit versus Blentech. Yeah, but Blentech's got a couple openings right here. Okay, he cornered. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that the was good cover. for a little bit. Yeah. Good capitalization. He covered. He covered uh, tech in place and no tech. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, going back to battlefield. I'm not sure if I, so. We definitely banned Dreamland. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if I agree with going back here, though. I still think FOD is the better pick than uh, Battlefield in this matchup. I think Peach really struggles without having the walls. Yeah. Um, it, it forces her to put herself in more vulnerable positions when recovering to things like downtown. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm also questioning the pick to go back to Battlefield, but... Yeah, I mean, it, you know, I'm sure it's a personal preference type deal. No doubt. If you're most comfortable here, then by all means, see so your match. Yep. But on paper, on paper, I'm not sure if I agree. <laughs> on paper, we're going to criticize you. <laughs> a good down throw dash attack. Okay. Okay, I he like that. He almost got that platform tech chase, and that would have put him in a really good situation to have throw him off stage. Yeah, Marth, Marth is much better at uh, getting off ledge than Peach is. Definitely. So he, he can put pressure on with his fares. Ooh, Ooh wow. I, that was such good smash DI up. Yeah, and then immediate was. dolphin slash. Wow. I don't. Uh, he did get his jump back. Okay. Uh, he's he, now he doesn't have it though. That all. I think if that uh, if that if, if the tilt, tilt, yeah, I think if that had poked, he would have uh, been KO'd for that. Yeah, I, I don't doubt it. Blentech at a ridiculously high percent. Yeah. For what we usually see in competitive play, especially <laughs> pools. Ah, that'll do it. Yep. But I mean, if. If the exact same thing happens as last match, he's just going to get a random nair and then the stocks are going to be Oh. Or a down smash. That does it too. Did he think he was like reversing the fair or something like that? Possibly. Or yeah. maybe a, catching a, what, crowd cancel roll? Yeah, something along those lines. Yeah. Oh. A little risky, risky nair, but doesn't get punished for it. Oh. That, probably an accident, but it ended up working. Yeah. There's a, I, I see a few flubs coming out from both of these players. Not crazy flubs, but yeah. little ones, you know? Yeah, definitely very little ones. He almost had that. Uh, he, he tried to grab ledge, but he just got clipped barely by the up B, which saved Blue Buster. Oh, wow. Rogue down air. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. That was... Always love to see frying pan. Such a nice mix-up, because really, any of the... Oh, and that puts, Yeah, that puts Blentech in the lead. But any of the tools that Peach can pull out covers that space in front of her. Okay. That was kind of risky. Cause I, I, he meant to do an up tilt, and mm -hmm. I think had he done an up tilt... It would have connected. It would have worked, but he accidentally did an up smash instead and took the bear. Wow, that was a huge <laughs> hit. Max range fair. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that, that hitbox is so massive. Mm -hmm. Especially if Martha's uh, hand is out for the down tilt. One deck looks like he's getting a little bit more comfortable. His movement is becoming a little bit more tricky across the platforms, and it's kind of fooling up Blue Buster a bit. I think that uh, that SD, that uh, missed edge go or uh, missed ledge dash, mm -hmm. has kind of, I, I don't want to say, you know, took the wind out of his sails. But uh, I don't know. I think he's definitely losing steam. Yeah, definitely. It, it's always... It's always rough when you have the lead or it's even, mm -hmm. and then you accidentally give it away. Oh wow! Yeah, this is a this is a now a hard comeback because Peach can be defensive. Yes, he has a whole two stocks. Doesn't need to approach at all. Yep, he turn can up city. Yep, turn up city. Absolutely. Or you can do whatever Blentech's doing and actually stay in this nice mid-range zone yeah, right did, outside of Marth's regular range. He's keeping center stage and pushing him onto the ledge. Mm -hmm. And, it, yeah, he catches that dash attack. Because even though Marth's better off ledge <coughs> than Peach, that doesn't mean that he wants to be there. Right, and crouch cancel down smash. I think That's probably going to be it, yeah. Wow. Really yeah. smart by Blentech, pushing Solid him all the way off. Right. Yeah. Just progressively. So FD will be banned, uh, most likely. So they'll probably go to Pokemon. That, that's just my guess. Or he banned Pokemon or Yo. It, probably Yoshi's or Pokemon is what he banned then. Yeah, probably. Is that Lance in the pants in the chat? We miss you, Lance. Yo, is that Lance? I love Lance. Chat, go wild for Lance. <laughs> while we while oh, we Stitch watch face. yeah while we watch Blentech rack up like oh, 50, wow. 92 percent on turnips. You know, he'd been looking for one of these the whole set. He found it. And getting it on the very first stock of game three. 
is a very nice time to get it. And he still has it going into stock two. And this is, uh, you know, of course, Blue Buster's counterpick. It's like, that that that's so much more, I don't know, humiliating in a way. That just yeah. right off your counterpick, you get comboed and into a stitch phase, and it's just, oh. Now, uh, this is a, Blentech is actually very good at float cancel combos. Mm -hmm. So this is a pretty strong, even though it's uh, Blue Buster's counterpick, He's very good at taking hits very far on the stage gotcha. against most characters. So it's really more net. Wow, it's really more dependent on his neutral game, how to get that first hit. Yeah, and he's saw, getting he's getting like all. Of them. Yeah, with that power shield into a grab, he even traded with that F smash. Yeah, I mean Peach is obviously a trade heavy character. Definitely, the only the only character who Peach doesn't want to trade with is like Ganon. Yeah, absolutely. No one wants to trade with Ganon. <laughs> no one wants to trade with those, with the punch. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure why he didn't drop that. I he he should have G... It looked like he thought about Z-dropping it, but just kind of missed the timing up. Yeah, I, I thought that as well. I was wondering the same thing. I'm like, you know, usually Peaches are so, like, eager to put that turn up there, threaten that area right below the ledge. Wow, and a whole two-stock lead. Again, this is a, this is one of those scary situations because Peach is one of the harder characters to make comebacks against because she can play so defensively. And she can make you nervous. With Marth especially, she can definitely make you nervous. How many grabs are you going to get? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, up throw is not going to kill for another, what, 60%? 40%? Yeah, like uh, maybe 40 or 50. I know it's like early 200s because FD's ceiling is kind of low. Yeah, somewhere around there. I can't remember. Oh, and he pulls out <laughs> Toad. I mean, Toad in the right situation is good. Is very good. Especially with that, like, pseudo no impact Toad. Yeah. That was pretty cool. It usually does really well against down tilt yeah. just because down tilt hits right in the center and. Uh, that's where Pete, because toe, you can hit over and under toe. So. All right, so I want to say Blentech was using his lower percent to just try to crowd cancel down smash. Like, do nothing else. I mean, it works. It it does, but, like, <laughs> dude, Blue Buster was having none of it. Yeah, I mean, it's scary. You know, if they get, if they're wise to it, then they'll just, you know, space moves on you and, they get, and you get nothing off of it, they get a bunch of percent, yeah. which is what happened. And this is... This is just more stuff by Blendtec. Yeah, I mean, he, he he really if he wants a really good shot at this, he needs to take this stock right now. Yeah. He, he needs to finish this edge guard out. Minimal percent. Yeah, Blendtec's just kind of letting him have ledge. I, I mean, again, getting the right situation to edge guard Marth there, oh, that is not no, a good sign. No, the steam is out of his, his engine. The wind from his sails. If he can bring this back, I'll be very surprised. Yeah, I mean, it. Marth can do it. Because, yeah. you know, Marth can just keep the wall going. But, yeah, that should be it. Mm -hmm. But Peach can also do it with turnips. You know, especially on this stage, uh, turnip walls are a very real thing. Yeah, and, and then even with the wall thing, like, in order for a wall to be effective, you have to have a lead. Mm -hmm. Remember from old school Magic the Gathering, walls can't attack, dude. <laughs> like, they can. Should be obvious. So even though Marth has that wall, wow, the timeout is still always an option. And right <laughs> now, he's not covering the timeout. Yeah. That pressure from the turnips is really good. And it's netting him, you know, 6% here and there. But mm -hmm. it adds up. It definitely does. Because once Marth, at this point, Blentech wants to trade. Yes. Uh, yep, see there, if he didn't trade that, he would have been in a pretty vulnerable position off stage. Yeah. And he's almost, he's almost like evened up the percents. Yeah, this is a, this is a really hard comeback at this point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that probably is it. I think his jump's gone. Yep. All right. Blendtec 2-1 over Blue Buster. I think that's technically an upset based on the seating. I'm not 100% certain. You think? But uh, I think it might.